unreal living here on the beaches of Nha Trang here in Vietnam, part of my southeastern bike tour. Uh, something that I wanted to talk about today is the stopping short cycle tour tip. So what this is, it doesn't come from Seinfeld. It's not a move that you pull on a girl uh, by stopping short. What it is is um, I've kind of devised a little system here to, to basically be as frugal with my money as possible while maximizing the amount of time that I spent in the really nice cities and towns. What I do is on, say I have a distance between uh, one major town to the next. Um, so for instance, from uh, Kim Yon to Naha Trang here, there's 220 kilometers. Now if I really wanted to push myself, I could have done that in, I could have done that in two days if I really wanted to push myself. What I decided to do instead was to take, uh, was to do two semi-hard days and then one really easy day. So my first day I did 100 kilometers out of Kinyon and then the next day I did 85 kilometers and then this morning what I did was 80, uh, sorry not 80, I did uh, 45 kilometers this morning to get into uh, now Trang here. And what I did was I purposely took two easy days, stopped short of this town, and then I, I ride into this town early in the morning, so around, I think I got here at around 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. I search for my hotel, and I get checked into my hotel. That way I have the whole day to spend here with all my gear, with all my gear uh, locked up into the hotel. All my bike and my trailer are there. I get to spend the whole day here down by the beach, but I only have to spend uh, one night at the hotel, really. Because I'll spend t tonight at the hotel, and then I'll leave sometime probably either in the afternoon or sometime in the uh, late morning tomorrow. So I call it stopping short. So I stop short of the town that I'm about to come to on purpose, spend one more night camping out, and then ride really really early into the town and the and the hotels seem to not really have any kind of issues with this me checking in at 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning so i get there nice and early in the morning get all my stuff get all my gear locked up i mean i think it's a really good kind of idea uh, if you really want to be frugal with your money spend the least amount on accommodations as possible while getting the most out of your dollars when you do actually go in a hotel because i could have pounded my way the 220 kilometers could have done it in two days spent one night in the hotel and then spend the whole day here in uh, Nha Trang then spend another day in the hotel that night so as opposed to doing two nights in the hotel only doing one night but basically getting the same amount of enjoyment from the surroundings so that's my cycle tour tip for today and as always if you really like my videos please share like subscribe Leave your questions and comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and keep it unreal, baby.